I like you. I like you. Yeah. I like. Oh, we need to hang out more. Where are we going? Africa. <laughs> I'm for real. <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? We on a new episode of Carisha Please. In today's guest, we got Summer Walker. <laughs> this interview is being brought to you by Delion Tequila, owned by a black man. Goes down smooth. Now back to more Carisha Please. What's up, Summer? How you feeling today? I'm feeling good. You yeah. look so good. You look so good. You are gorgeous. You're gorgeous. I just had to. I tell you that every time I see you. Though. No, you're gorgeous too. So like I'm like, damn, this bitch look good. Thanks. <laughs> so you just dropped your new EP called Clear Two. Yes. Clear Two Soft Error. Mm-hmm. So you and your soft girl error. I'm in my soft girl era. I'm trying to have a soft life. Mm-hmm. What does that mean for you? That means I'm not arguing with nobody. I'm not arguing with niggas. <laughs> I just want to relax. I just want to travel, mm -hmm. raise my kids, have a good time, laugh, I don't do no drama. I'm a mother, no drama. I love that. Yeah. Because we don't see you go back and forth. <laughs> we don't see you get in the field. Yeah. So what would you say is the difference from the first um, clear, t clear one and then clear two? Like, what is the different sound? What's the difference? So the difference is, so clear one, or just clear, it's all live music, unlike my albums that have auto-tune and all that. The only difference is now I'm in a different space. I'm singing about a happier time and like realizations mm -hmm. of shit that I didn't understand. So instead of just being like, so sad, it's not that. What's something you realize? Something I realized that I'm a bad bitch, okay? <laughs> I realized that for one, I'm the shit. Mm -hmm. And I just, niggas need to serve me. Like, I don't need to be Amen. sitting up here trying to help niggas and none of that shit. Mm -hmm. So, I love that for me. I love that for you, too. Yes. Because it's like, it's at a time where we, we just, I feel like the R&B girls, the rap girls, we popping off and it's like, Fuck y'all niggas, because y'all niggas really not shit. Yeah. And I love that you pour that into your music. Like, um, still over it, too. Got to. How you came in, like, I want to start with your mama. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, let me start with your mama. But yeah, no, because I'm just not doing it no more. Uh, I know people thought I was going to be, like, over it, still over it, really over it, or some shit like that. It's not that... Yeah, it's going to just, I don't know what my album would be called, but it's definitely going to be something. I just feel like Mariah Carey. Like. Oh, love that. Okay, Mariah. <laughs> how was it working with J. Cole? You have a, you know, that the EP is out. And um, how was it working with J. Cole? So we got a song called Audio Hug. Um, I had asked him to do a song. He didn't really get time to do it. Um, he wanted to meet. And I was so fucking pregnant that I was just like, oh, my God, I can't, like, I don't know if you've seen them damn pictures. I was like 200 pounds. My ankles were like this huge. It was mm -hmm. crazy. Um, so we didn't meet, but he ended up sending me something called Audio Hug. And he was just like, it's so sweet. I cried when I heard it. He was just like being hella sweet and just saying he sees all the shit that I went through. Mm -hmm. And if I ever need to call him for anything, call him. It was just cool. Um, so we didn't meet in the studio because I don't even like working like that, but we met at Dreamville, um, which that festival was awesome. That shit was cool. Um, and then we went to Dave and Buster's afterwards and that's when we got to chop it up. Mm -hmm. We had a good time. He got his ass whooping basketball. <laughs> uh, everybody got their ass whooped mm -hmm. in there. It was crazy. But so why is it that you're not comfortable with working with artists in the studio? Um, it just throws my vibe off because, you know, it's like a diary to me. I be seeing some really vulnerable ass shit. Um, I be crying. I be seeing crazy shit. I be talking about niggas' mamas. I be doing all types of shit. And I just want to do that alone in peace with no one there to judge me. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite body of work that you feel like you did? Like, what is one of your favorite songs off of an album that you did? My fit like my favorite song that I've ever did. Yeah, I, that you ever written, that you ever recorded. 
Unloyal with Ari Lennox. Mm -hmm. I love that shit. It's like the only song I really love. What song is very personal to you? All of them. Mm -hmm. All of them be like from real experiences, everything. I mean, I write like 90% of it, so it all be close to heart. Mm -hmm. It was at one point you was getting criticized because, you know, you had just released your album still over it. So it was still over it. And people felt like you wasn't re you wasn't performing their favorite songs, and then you came back and said you couldn't do it because it was so personal. Do you feel like you could perform the songs now? No, I'm still like that. They, um, my label, they always be trying to add different songs from the albums to my set because I would kind of be doing the same song, mm -hmm. and I just can't do it. <laughs> well, why not? Because I will cry. But you know, Beyonce. I remember, I right now forget, it was a performance where she was performing Resentment and she cried. But really? that's so, it's so important because it's a personal song. It's real emotions that you went through, you know, at a time. And it's like, to see that come out of an artist, that's kind of like, bitch, I'm going to cry too. <laughs> no, like, I can't do it. Like, even, I don't even listen to m my songs. It's really like a diary. Mm -hmm. Like, the music I make is like, no disrespect, but I don't make it for nobody else. Mm -hmm. I make it for me. So that I can heal. It's like a process of healing so I can release the shit. And yeah, that's why I won't go back and look at it. I won't go back and listen to it. So I definitely can't sing it. And then to be crying. Oh, my God. No, that's so embarrassing. Like, I don't. They not my friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they not. I mean, I fuck with my fans, but we, we still not friends. So mm -hmm. I hope they don't take that the wrong way. So would you say you are more like comfortable just overall? Because, you know, like at one point in time, you were just kind of like, I got anxiety. I'm not really comfortable. Do you feel like you're more, more comfortable now on stage? Just a little bit. Not much more. I mean, I think it got a little better because it used to be real bad where I would just stand there. I wouldn't even say a word. Like, <laughs> it's gotten a little better. It's like, hi. Yeah, hi. And then I was to wait for the next song. Don't say shit. Mm -hmm. So, so better. you know, we see, I feel like we get two different sides of summer. We get, like, reserved summer, dressed up, covered, and then we get, like, summer twerking with her friends, TikTok, ass out. Mm-hmm parking summer so why is it that we just can't get there all the time because i don't know i'll be feeling like i don't know what it is like they be judging ratchet bitches like they really be judging ratchet bitches like people be like oh she look dirty she look dusty she's ghetto like that so i'll be trying to just keep it together and then i know it's also hard for people to like understand the cost concept of multifaceted people like mm -hmm. people that have different sides of them mm -hmm. like it's not just one way and it'd be confusing people and they'd be like well how she sing about this but she act like this or because if it was up to me if I really didn't think about it that's right really why I'd be quiet on stage and stuff because I don't want to say nothing just stupid or dumb because it was up to me I just come out there and be like I'd be like what's up bitches and y'all ready? Yeah. Okay. At? Like, yeah. but they would be like, what the fuck is No, that? we really would love it. It's just like me personally, like anybody that knows me know, like I'm a big Summer Walker fan. And I feel like when it comes to R&B artists, we don't have an R&B artist that's like showing their personality or showing like a different side. I feel like, you know, when we see R&B artists, we just see like their music and just the reserve them. So I kind of feel like to have like a new R&B artist that's wretched, that's themselves, that's what we need. And that's what's missing. And that's what makes you you. And that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with you. Because when I first found out who Summer Walker was, it was Girls Need Love. And then I remember I saw like a twerking video you on a pole. And I'm like, I love this bitch. <laughs> like, I never saw that from an R&B singer. And I feel like, you know, just from one artist to another, I don't feel like you should bury your personality or not. Be true to yourself because of perspective. You know, I feel like... You're right. Yeah, I feel like be real to who you are and that's what people go fall in love with. People fall in love with stuff that's real and genuine because it's like, she weird. I'm not weird. I don't think you weird. I, at times I'm like, yeah, she weird, but then I kind of get it. I kind of understand it because it's like, I feel like it's a time and a place for everything. And it's like, sometimes I come off as weird. Like a lot of times I get around people and I just be like, hi, but I'm in my room and I'm twerking. But that's what people love. They just love 
people that's authentic. So. We just all have a fear of being judged, whether we want to admit it or not. Mm -hmm. That's just all it is. Because even the shit we was just talking about, everything that you were saying, I was not thinking about at all. You was thinking about that shit. <laughs> and that's just how it always be. People just be in their head for no reason. So, because it was like, at one point in time, you was just like, I'm done doing music. Like, I don't want to do music no more. Like, I'm done. Do you feel, do you still feel like that? Hell no. I'm trying to get this money. Exactly. I don't care. I used to care so much. I really did. I used to care what people thought, like, way more than I do now. Mm -hmm. I would just be sitting there reading the comments when my feelings hurt. I don't give a damn now. What, what made you get to that point? Where it's like, I just don't give a fuck. I just realized, like, if I really think about it, like, damn, therapy, mm -hmm. therapy helped me figure that out. Like, they just didn't get to take the time to assess, like, their childhood trauma and what's really actually wrong and to actually just realize that they're just insecure. Right. And it's, ju it's just that. And if they could move past that, then they would stop that shit. But they mad as fuck about their life and they don't want to fix their life. So now they just sitting there doing that shit. Mm -hmm. And once I figured that out, I was like, oh, well, shit, if I was in their position, I would be mad as hell, too. Right. Because it's like at any point, any day, a bitch is with shoes with you. Like, yeah. people really put their insecurities on us as scenarios because they really would trade their life for ours. And I just feel like, you know, just being an artist, like you said, everybody let, you know, opinions, comments get to them. But I'm so glad that you was, you was able to identify that and overcome it. But I do really want you to show your personality because just me personally as a comic fan, that's what I love about someone. You hear what I'm trying to say? Like, I see the... I'm shy, I'm da, 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 da. but it's like when I saw you in Jamaica, I'm like, period, summer. When I see you on that cuss in London, like, you know, just that's real shit. People go through real shit. And you know, but every time I act like that, I get so many calls from family, friends, pe you know, comments that I don't even know people. Just be like, why did she act like that? And that's when I be like, trying to be like, okay. I got to pull it together. And I do this shit all the time. I'll be like, okay, I'm going to pull it together and I'm going to focus on my brand and I'm going to act right. And then something happens where I end up shaking my ass or cussing somebody out. And then it's just the like, cycle. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just feel like for real, for real, for real, like fuck people. Because I'm telling you, like and it's a whole new generation. Like we need that personality of an artist. Like I feel like it's so important. And Diddy made a comment about R&B being dead. It is. You feel like that? No, but yes, it's dead because they don't get be giving these, giving us like R&B bitches our props. Mm -hmm. Like we got to work way harder. Like the pop bitches, they get all the awards. They get all the shit, all the pop bitches. They just get, I feel like they get the radio play, the praise. And then it just makes R&B girls be like, well, fuck it then. Like, shit. Right, we're not getting the records. Yeah. But it's not like it's dead. Like, people ain't making the music because they making the music. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like, because me personally, I'm kind of like, I'm not really an R&B girl like that. I do listen to R&B, but I feel like it's dead in some way because I feel like we don't really get that soulful R&B like. Mm -hmm. Like that old school. Yeah. Yes. And that's what I be looking for. <laughs> Ancestors, what's up? <laughs> Your mommy be here, just say that. I can go. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're gonna keep you right here with the alarms. The, it don't it don't rain. We don't <laughs> be here since eight o'clock. It's now twelve, but we all keep it flowing. It's it's gonna be a great interview. Um, yeah, so back to what I was saying. I just feel like when 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 I when I saw the tweet, I took it as in like I feel like it's no more soulful music. I feel like back then we had like baby baby making music. We had some for a wedding. We had some for some a breakup. For a wedding, we had some a cookout. For, right. Mm -hmm. So I kind of felt like that's that's the way I took it. Do you do you feel like R and B still have that soulful music? Like right now, if I wanted to get married, I would play this day and age. Let's so. get married. Right. No, we don't. That's why I be trying to make shit, but um, they don't want to put that on the radio. These days, they like the TikTok songs. I don't get it, but hey. But no, um, it's because the love is lost. Don't nobody want to think about love no more. They want to think about, you know, toxic shit, fucking bitches, da-da-da. 
But that's that's what I want to make. That's why I love clear so mm-hmm. much. You can make that good soul shit. Your album was like the number one number one Apple on um, Billboard 100. How do you feel not getting nominated for a Grammy or not win, winning an award? Honestly, both albums, Over It and Still Over It, really did the numbers. Mm-hmm. I feel like. I don't know. I feel like I got played. I feel like the numbers was there. The fans was there. When I pop out for a show, sold out every time. I don't fucking know why they played me. I do know why, but I ain't going to go into it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I be getting played. So, but it's okay. As long as like, because you know, some people, they have the numbers, but the love ain't there. Mm -hmm. But the love is there and the money is there. So Mm -hmm. it's good. How was it? working with London, being that y'all was in a relationship and, you know, he was producing an album. Like, how was that? What you mean? Like, you know how, like, y'all was together at the time and he was producing some of the songs, so it's kind of like, what was the... Like, how did y'all make the music? Like, did y'all, like, just like, okay, we gonna go in the studio? Oh, I just let him handle everything. Um, That's my problem. When I get into a relationship, I let a man be a man and I just let him... I just, you lead, I follow. So I just let him do what he do. And I just show up. I already, I write all my shit, but the rest of that, I just give it to him, let him do what he do with it. I don't really mm-hmm. ask no questions. What is your dream collab? My dream collab? Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Like Erica Badu or... Donnell Jones. Mm, I love that. I love me some Donnell Jones. Yes. I want to see that happen. Me too. I will be the first bitch in the um stage. You will see me like this. That's how you know when the good, when the music good, when you got your hand on your chest and your eyes closed. That's it. Mm-hmm. So are you on speaking terms for London? Hell no. And so when he came to get my um baby the other day. He was walking through the door. I just ran up the steps. I don't <laughs> want to see you or nothing. Why is it? Because I feel like at one point in time, y'all was so in love. Y'all was about to get married. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Girl, we can't even talk about it. Why? He wild. That's all I can say. He's a wild nigga. I'm not going to lie. He wild. Every time I see London, London is very reserved. It's like, hey, so his energy is always great. I never saw that side of London. Oh. So. Yeah. I wish that we could at least like, you know, if we wasn't going to be together, that we could have had a good co-parenting situation and where we could just still be cool enough to like work. Because mm-hmm. I can't deny that we make really good music. Yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. It's undeniable. But yeah. why why what's why is it that y'all can't co-parent and still make music? Like why is it to the point where it's just like we can't work together, we can't co-parent? I don't like why it's so unhappy. Oh no. I was trying to, but I'm like a no bullshit type of girl. Mm-hmm. Like my main thing about anybody is they keeping their word. Mm-hmm. Like you say you're gonna do something no matter what it is. And if you got to change any type of plans or anything, communicate. Mm-hmm. And he's not good at that. And so it pisses me off. And so, like, I just remove myself because, like I said, I'm in a soft girl era now. And so I don't want to argue. So if we can't communicate properly, I'm going to just, because all that ghetto rah-rah shit, mm-hmm. I'm tired. I can't. So you spoke about therapy. How's therapy? Because a lot of people, you know, don't go to therapy and therapy is so important because it do get you over a lot of, you know, tribulations that you're going through in your life. Mm -hmm. So how's that process as far as like therapy? Therapy is great. Shout out to Sarita. Um, I really haven't been doing it as much now because I'm so much better. Um, And I used to be like, oh, I'm not doing that shit. That's that white people shit. Mm -hmm. I I always felt like that. But it um and shout out to Justice um on my my label, he made me do it. It was actually funny. He made her pull up on me at a show and try to act like I know it was a fucking therapist sitting in the room. And it's crazy. The first day that I met her, I cried. Mm-hmm. Um, she caught me in a fucking meltdown in the uh 
dressing room. Mm-hmm. I was like, just the day that she's here, she don't think I'm nuts. But um, yeah, she's great. And I advise people to stop acting like that. Mm-hmm. I was like, what's she going to be able to do? She can't tell me nothing. I don't already know. Yes, she can. <laughs> what? Yeah, cause it's a question that I don't want to start it because you was like, um, I want to start with your mama. Yeah. Do you feel like that? What you mean? Like you should have whooped her ass. <laughs> Not like you should have whooped her ass. Yes, I have no regrets. Um, yes, there's nothing worse to me than like men who have enabling mothers Mm -hmm. like narcissists that have enabling mothers Mm -hmm. like you could call a nigga mama and be like he just did this he just did that and they would be like what you did to make him do that yeah like what you mean what you mean no that is not and that's why he act like that now because your ass ain't never um disciplined him or told him when he was wrong and that's just like it makes me look because i have two sons Mm-hmm. Um, and I just be looking like, damn, there's no way in hell. I wish a girl would call me talking about my son did some crazy ass shit to her. I would be like, niggas, you crazy? Right. I ain't raised you like that. As a woman, you know, yeah, you know, through some shit. So it's mm-hmm. don't like- be out here embarrassing me like I raised you like a fucking heathen. Mm-hmm. So that's what, yeah. So how how would you say motherhood changed you? Because you like love being a mom. You always speaking about wanting to have more kids like how would you say motherhood changed you or changed like your perspective or like or about me um it didn't change me it just gave me a love that I have never felt before like it's I might get emotional oh my god <laughs> I love my kids mm-hmm. um it's just a love that you you know yeah I know yeah if you don't have no kids Look, I know. I'm serious. I, 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 I just had that emotion too. Where I was, I was just gone for like a couple of days. And I got home, and I saw my baby, my daughter, and she was just like in the mirror doing her makeup. Mommy, can I get lip gloss? And I was just like, damn, I really want to bring my kids with me on everywhere. Like, you yes. cannot miss the moments. It's so important, like that your kids bring out that loving you, that mm-hmm. emotion that. Like, this is my purpose of life. Like, this is yeah. why I'm doing it. So I, I, I feel that, like, I literally was looking at my son and my daughter, and I'm just like, thank you, God. Like, mm-hmm. people don't know how important it is to have kids and just to feel that love. Like, mm-hmm. you would never feel the love like your child. Every time I look at them, I'll be like, this is such a blessing. I need a fucking tissue. Why am I like this? Can we get a tissue? <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I just want more. I think I'm crazy. Like, no, if you're, I want more. I want like five kids. Yeah. Because I feel like <laughs> when you have a lot of kids, it, it's different personalities. It, you just get, you see a different you in the, in your child. Like, I'll be like, damn, I'm having me in this form. Then mm-hmm. my son, me in this form. Like, I'll be like, my son is a, a, a boy, but mm-hmm. I can see so much in me and him. So I feel like I want more kids too. It's just like you, you got like a child that's going to be a demon. You got the nice child. <laughs> Not the child that's going to be a demon. You got the child that you're going to have to say, said that then you got the sweet child so i do want more kids um while we on the topic of kids you spoke openly about having postpartum depression you know with london Mm -hmm. how was that what was that experience like um you know it's just like i feel like people have postpartum when they don't have the support that they need um it could be a uh, hormonal imbalance but just for me it was just not having the support that I needed and now it's just that's how I know I really didn't have this, the support I needed because I had one kid and I was like fuck this shit sucks like I was really depressed and it wasn't about the child like right. I loved her I just needed help but now I have three and I'm like oh my god I'm so happy you would think I would be like fuck but now that I have the help that I need I'm just like this is great, mm-hmm. yeah. Because for me, I went to I went through postpartum depression with my son, but it was more so of like I was so wild, and then he set me down. So I went from like openly being able to do whatever the fuck I want to mm-hmm. like I got to change the di- diaper. I have to be a fucking responsible adult. Mm-hmm. So it was just like one of the things. It's like one of the worst feelings 
ever. Like you go through so many emotions. Mm-hmm. Like it's kind of damn near suicidal a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's like it's 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 so hard. So I had just wanted to just see like how did you get out of that depression? Like what was some like what helped you get over it? Because for me, I just was like I had to learn to adjust, adjust mm-hmm. to like a new era, like being a mom and being responsible and being an adult. So how did you get over your first part of depression? Well, for me, like, especially now, I see a lot of moms because mom guilt is a real thing. Even just how you said, like, going to work, that shit is the worst. Every time I fucking go to work, even right now, it's like, well, can I bring them? But, you know, you got to do what's best for them. Mm -hmm. Make sure that they're comfortable instead of dragging them around everywhere. I just feel like moms lose themselves in their kids. And that's when it be like fucked up. You still got to make time for yourself. Right. Make sure that you, if you want to stay cute, if you want to take a bath, go to the spa, take a trip, whatever it is. And as long as you carve that time out, I feel like you won't feel like you missing nothing. Mm-hmm. I, I I have no shame. As soon as my kids go to sleep, I hit the streets. It's true. Because we be needing it. It's so hard. Like, it's so, like you said, we get so lost that it's just kind of like, it's the guilt of like, damn, I got kids. I shouldn't be out. Or mm-hmm. damn, I just had a baby. I should be at home being a mom. Mm-hmm. But it's like, mom's need like to like we gotta have a life we gotta get out and get back to ourselves because if not i make my plans i make sure i'm with them in the day that past that bed that 7 30 they get in the get in the tub get in the bed i'm out right and also i make sure every time they go with their dads i plan a trip mm-hmm. so how is it co-parenting with every i do them the same way the same way i do the other nigga i don't talk to them I don't mm really. Mm-mm. I I don't wanna you won't see me, you can't call me. Really? So they can't spin them a lot. Mm-mm. No. Not, when not, I'm you. done, I'm done. Mm-hmm. So you're not like still a sneaky leak with like mm mm-hmm. No. So when you was in a relationship with London, you popped out with Larry, which was like your ex from like mm-hmm. you know, like years a ago. Long time right. Ago. So was you cheating on London. No, I leave niggas mm-hmm. like I, but I move fast. Mm-hmm. But I, cheating, no. But I will leave you for another nigga quick. <laughs> yeah. How you able to do that? How you able to? Because sometimes, like you know, like when you take a break from a nigga, you really go to missing him, or you be thinking like, especially like your child father, you go to thinking like, damn, you know, what she mm-hmm. really do love her dad. I really want us to be in the same household. Mm-hmm. You you start thinking what it could be, or like kind of like. Is I'm moving too fast. How are you able to just... I went through all that. Like, there ain't nothing more than you be wanting to be with your baby daddy. Like, but the thing is, when you see how a motherfucker is, Mm -hmm. and you know, after you done tried your hardest, that they not going to change, I'm not about to waste my good years. (laughs) Sit up here, I'm fucking 35 with your ass, and you still doing the same shit. Now I finally say I'm going to leave and now my ass is, mm I don't even got it like that no more. No. Mm-hmm. While I'm young and fine and rich, let me go. Right. Amen. Like, we got us as women got to know when, when the time is, has come and just learn how to move on, be graceful and just let it go. Mm-hmm. I feel like it, it's kind of hard. Like for me, it was hard. I, I just was like, damn, I don't want maybe to have a dad, but it's just like, you got to identify that shit to get the fuck on. Because mm-hmm. they don't care. It's, it's hard dealing with Men that have multiple baby moms too, mm-hmm. and still be fucking with their baby moms and all that. So, so how do you feel about people saying some of we warrant you like being that you know when you was with London and you used to defend him about you know him getting his kids and then the one baby mama saying you don't ever have your kids you like bitch we got the kids and then you turn around and it was like you was going through the same shit. That shit get on my fucking nerves when people be like we warned you. Like, please stop. There is all y'all sitting there talking about we warned you. You didn't been with ain't shit ass niggas. Your mama didn't been with ain't shit ass niggas. Your grandma and your great grandma didn't been with ain't shit ass niggas. You cannot avoid ain't shit ass niggas. Mm-hmm. So why y'all sitting over there looking at me like y'all ain't never been with or met a ain't shit ass nigga? Your baby daddy ain't shit ass. Your daddy is an ain't shit ass nigga. Mm-hmm. You, you think because what? Because I'm a celebrity that I can't deal with ancient ass niggas too? They everywhere. What do you mean? I think it was more from people's perspective. It was kind of like 
you know, the crazy vein, it's always a crazy vein moment. It just was like, it was like an attack thing. So it was more of like, she was saying that nigga don't take care of his kid or that nigga don't spend time with his kid. And then it's kind of like you was defending the situation at the time. Oh, Lord Jesus. All of them. And then it's kind of like you turn around and you kind of like went and said the same thing. Because, okay, and I could sound stupid or like a pick me or whatever, but I just feel like when you're in a relationship, no matter what happened before you or your man say he going to do what he going to do, that's why I really take people's words so serious. Like, I don't care what happened before. You said what you was going to do for me, mm -hmm. and I believe you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to try to trip you up on your past. Maybe you're a changed man. Maybe you learn things differently. We together now. That don't have nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. And as for her, like, She's just nuts. She's really nuts. She, she, I guess she still want to be with that man because I tried so hard with her. I tried so hard with all his baby mamas to be like big, happy family kumbaya. I'm not weird like that. Like, I'll be like, hey, y'all should come over. Hey, we should link up. Do the kids want to get together? Let's do Christmas together. Mm -hmm. I really don't care. I tried that too. Because I felt like with my first baby dad, I never, before him, I had never dealt with someone that had like baby mamas or nothing like that. So I kind of felt the same thing. Like when I got into a relationship with him, I'm like, nigga, you got five kids. Yeah. We need to get these kids together. together. Because it's so important for, you know, brothers and sisters to have a bond. Like yeah. they brothers and sisters. But the problem with that is the men. Mm -hmm. They lie. Mm -hmm. They still be fucking on their baby mothers. Yeah. And it's just. That's the that's the situation of it. You can't change a man unless they want to change. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the baby mama gonna go for anything because she still want to be with you. And that's why it don't never work out. Now it's like now it makes sense. I'm sitting there thinking like, well, he not fucking her while she mad. Like, yes, you are. That's why you can't cooperate. That's why when I ask you, hey, do you want to go take the kids to the park? Do you want to come over for Christmas and us all chill? No, you don't want to come over. You want to come over and get that dick and you want me to leave this house. That's why you don't want to be my friend. <laughs> Shit. But it's just kind of like, baby girl, like, you got to learn where to let it go. I, it, it's, do you feel like you can't ever date a man with kids again? Like after that whole situation? Yeah. Like I, know, I think this is something that really gets me fucked up, but I'm telling you, Anything that someone may have been doing or dealing with in the past, I just feel like that has nothing to do with me. I'm going to give you a clean slate every time. If mm -hmm. you fuck up, you, you make it dirty, you fuck the plate up, that's on you. Now I have to go. But... I need to think like that. Huh? I said, I need to think like that. No, you don't. No, don't think like that. It gets you fucked up every time. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, so traumatized. I'm like, you got to make one. Eh. No, just go. Because that shit right there, it's just too much to unfold. It's just like, God damn, nigga, like, why are you in? No, you that? should be like that. Like, when you see red flags, mm -hmm. take them for what they are. I'm not like that. I'm stupid. I'm just be like, yeah, it's red. So what? It's fine. I love, it could turn green. Who knows? I like, love I Six know. Flags. I love a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> she said I love Six Flags. I love a roller That's coaster. That's me. Yay, Six Flags. I'm stupid. It's okay, though. So, would you say, like, what What's the end of your relationship? Because we know what happened with London. We saw it on the internet. We saw everything transpired. Like, mm -hmm. we just saw, like, you know, you popped out with Larry. You was pregnant and it was just quiet. <laughs> now you popped out, you was pregnant. Oh, I can't even do him like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that man. All I say. So like when you, with you and Larry, it was such the chemistry. It was just like, your first love. You know, like, you got a first love. You mm -hmm. got a friend. It was just, it was so, it was everything. And it was just like, well, damn, what happened? Girl. <laughs> Girl. And it's crazy because I've known him so long. So long. But I realized you never really know somebody. Never, um, that's, that's a verb. You never really know somebody. That's a verb. Both of them, all I can say is, like, I be trying to not, like, Cause I'm not bitter. Mm -hmm. Like I've learned, I've regret nothing. I've learned so much that has contributed to my character development, just everything. So and shit, the songs got me some money. Like I regret nothing. I got my kids, but pathological liars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I be finding these pathological liars. Both of them, both of them, it's crazy. 
Oh my God. Just lie about just, just anything. You ask the niggas the sky blue and he going to say, no, it's red. <laughs> Nigga, I see it's blue. What are you talking about? Like both of them. Oh my God. So yeah, that's in a lump sum. So many lies. And once you figure it out, you know, like once you just figure out, oh, you just going to keep lying. Mm -hmm. Like you ever had a situation with somebody and be like, okay, baby, because that's me. I caught you with some lies and shit. I'd be like, all right, look, cats out the bag. It's cool. Mm -hmm. So now that I know what you got going on, let's just keep it 100 from here on out. Anything else you want to tell me? No, no, no. Then more shit pop out the back. Nigga, I just asked you. Right. What are you doing? I know at first hand. Yeah. I know. And nigga, you just go on like, like, I know. You could bring a bitch right there. She's like, I don't know. <laughs> Stuff you together look, right here. I have the text messages right <laughs> Here, what are you talking about? No, I'm blind. That's yeah, so. that is so fucking funny, man. Are... I'm not dealing with that shit. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just not. Mm -hmm. I will give up. I will give up a lot of shit. I will give up a big ass house. Mm -hmm. I'll give up bags, cars, shoes, dick, head, everything. <laughs> I don't give a fuck for my peace. Okay. Mm -hmm. I still have so much love for them. Mm -hmm. I really do. It's just me. I'm always trying to grow. And if you can't keep up with me on that level, because mm -hmm. um, I, I want to be a real rounded being. Mm -hmm. I got to have this going, spirituality going, financial going, physical going, everything going. When you want to just stay stagnant and you know you got problems, but you want to work on them, mm -hmm. I can't do nothing with that. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't get into your diet. Because mm -hmm. are you vegetarian? Um, I was. A vegetarian. I was vegan for a little bit. Um, and when I got pregnant with these boys, mm -hmm. every single day, steak, crab, chicken, everything you could think of, mm -hmm. ribs, every day. So, and I just haven't went back. Because it was at one point, I don't, I can't remember exactly what it was. So I don't want to be wrong. It was something about you feeding your daughter. Like you was feeding her. What, what, what was it? It was, um, what was it? It was like hemp milk, like hemp seeds, hemp milk with honey and something else. And it's because the doctors, mm -hmm. this was like always something like that was so fucked up to me. So the doctors, I had a good milk supply mm -hmm. and I had a cough somehow, a really bad cough. And this is why I love herbs and I fuck with herbs and all that shit now. Um, the doctors gave me some medicine that stopped my breast milk. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that's the worst feeling in the world. You can't feed your child. They just crying and shit. And I tried to give her cow milk, um, like the formula. And she broke out in like all these really bad hives because I was vegan during my pregnancy. So I guess the cow milk didn't work. And then I tried to give her soy formula. And then that constipated her to the point that it was just fucked up. She couldn't poop. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I don't know what to do. Can't take the titty milk. Can't take this. Can't take that. So I looked up some shit called um, like a Dr. Sabi formula type yeah. shit. And it cleared up her skin, the honey or whatever, because that's like antifungal or antibacterial. But it still wasn't giving her enough like to, to get the fat. And so went to the doctor again. And on my fourth one, I finally found... Um, some shit called Neo Kate that she could take. All that other shit wasn't taken to her body. It was just really a fucked up ass experience that I had to go through. Um, and it made me even more mad because they gave me like six different medications to get rid of this cough that fucked up my breast milk. But then I went to like this healing ass bitch and she was like, Drink some aloe juice. Mm -hmm. Drink the fucking aloe juice. Aloe juice, bitch. <laughs> Cough gone. You tell me I got all these fucking prescriptions really? on my goddamn, and all I had to do was drink some fucking aloe juice. So that'd be the shit. It's, sometimes you got to play around. Just be a herb that do it. Mm -hmm. So if Bubbles were named Bubbles. Bubbles is named Bubbles. Bubbles Renee Walker. Period. <laughs> <laughs> and it works so much. Like, her personality is so bubbly. She's so silly. Mm -hmm. So... So why is it that, like, you know, you don't show your kids. It was at one point you revealed Bubbles and how she mm -hmm. looked, and then you went back to, like, not posting your kids, but you put, like, an emoji over their face. While that there. went from my church. So before I got um, in my church, I was posting my kid. And um, when I got into the church, they was like, 
they don't, none of them post any of their kids. They're like, you know, the energy that can be put on them. And that's true. You know, yes. you post your kids in the comments, they saying crazy wild shit. There's pedophiles and all types of shit on the internet. Yeah, which is so crazy because it's like, when me, people are like, oh, you never with your kids, you never post your kids. It's like, as soon as you post your kids, they criticize you about mm -hmm. something. The way a hair look, but she got on, it's just mm -hmm. like, so I feel that 100%. I'm kind of yeah. like that too. I'm like, bitch, I am a full time mom, but I don't post my kids, you know, because it's like, yeah. you really have to protect your kids. You do. They are evil as fuck. They say the most meanest things, but it's like, you post your kids. Oh, why she gonna show her face? You mm -hmm. show her face or you reveal something about them and it's still a problem. And talking about kids is just off limits. And people be on the internet. That's be the weirdest shit to me. I'll be like, y'all really talking about a kid that can't defend themselves? So I know London don't give a fuck. He still posts her. but mm -hmm. And that be the shit. We'll never be on the same page. But as long as I don't, that's just in our religion. We don't do that. So is London an uh, um, Instagram dad or are you? Is he really like an act of dad? Honestly, now that I can look at it, um, it's real weird. He is so much better now. Um, and I had to do another praying and stuff on it. <laughs> okay. But he's great now. Um, and that's half it up for London. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. And um, I think honestly, what it was is he was just hurt. I could in the beginning, oh child. He was. Is he one of them? If I ain't with you, I want the baby. Look, okay. <laughs> he was taking me through the fucking ringer in the beginning. Um, and honestly, Cynthia, yeah, shout out to you, bitch. Because after <laughs> after she got in the picture, he started acting right. I was like, thank God, nigga, they moved on. Because yeah, it was wild in the beginning. So a lot of we we see you always. You know, when you single, you be on the end. I'm single. I can't do it no more. Do you feel like? The internet is an outlet for you when you're going through your emotions. It used to be. Um, I would just, you know, post anything, how I'm feeling, whatever. Cause in cause I don't like look at myself as a celebrity. Mm -hmm. So I just be like, I see the rest of these bitches posting how they feel today, posting about their nigga, posting this, posting that. But when I post about it, it's like, oh my gosh, she needs to be quiet. Mm -hmm. Why? Y'all do it. Right. Like she bit us. Yeah, mm -hmm. like everybody else on the internet using the internet. I can't use the internet too, but I don't really do it like that no more. So you over that part. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get into some fun. We're going to have some fun. Bartender, can I get some shots? You ready for the smoke? Oh, Lord, Jesus, help us. <laughs> Yo, do cheers to the smoke. It's time to get into the cheers smoke. Cheers to the smoke. You ready oh, for the smoke? Here she goes. <laughs> I be drinking at two in the damn morning. Mm. So I just got one question. What it is? Summer, where's my husband? Oh my <laughs> God. So we see you with me. Now where's I my see husband? you. So I ain't even gonna say, are you dating? You <laughs> seen me? Where you see me? Mm -hmm. Where? You know, the the once the internet started investigating and they started piecing together the two, you was just in the club. Ski mess. Are you dating me? Is he giving big meat or little meat? It's giving big meat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he is a good man, Savannah. Mm -hmm. Oh, now he's a good man. He's Savannah. a good man, That's a good man That's Savannah. Oh, Meech, I love that for you. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm here for it. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm here for it. I love it. I just, I think it's cute. I wanted. I wanted at least like six months before people just started to investigate. Like, <laughs> damn. So when you got quit, what was your first thought? Like, damn. She said, when you got quit. Because when you, when you think you're sneaking around, <laughs> when they find something, around. you can't even deny it. It's kind of like, damn, bitch, on court. So you just got to be quiet and just act like you yeah. didn't see it. I'm caught. Um, yeah, I really just wanted it to give it some time. You know, it's fresh. Like, you never know what could happen. Mm -hmm. um, but as so far, it's great. So you want more kids? You see yourself having more kids with him? Oh, my God. You oh said it's going to be huge. Like, <laughs> oh, it is the smoke. That's, that's what he said. <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm just saying, he got good cheese. He got good hair. He got some good hair. Mm -hmm. Um... You know, what's just outside, man? Like, we just been seeing you outside having fun. You know, you just was in two relationships. 
had kids back to back. Now you out, you dating, you having fun. Like, what's this like? Like, I'm having such a great time. Like, it's the saying, if it costs my peace, then it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. And as long as I have my peace, having a great time. Like, I love that I don't have to argue with no nigga, argue about nothing with nobody. I could just live my life like this forever. Mm -hmm. So how was it being a stripper and then like just having anxiety? Honestly, I didn't say shit in the club, you know? So how you used to dance? You used to just dance and not say nothing? Mm -mm, I don't say nothing. As soon as I start talking, niggas be like, oh, this bitch weird. <laughs> what you used to say? <laughs> because, you know, I I am i don't know. Like, I'm slick a nerd. Like, mm -hmm. it'd be funny because it's like, I don't know. I'm in a strip club. I look a little ratchet. I used to have, like, rainbow hair, piercings, all types of shit in my face. Nigga try to slide on me. He think I'm finna just be like a regular girl. I open my mouth and start talking about Bill Gates <laughs> and the white man. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, they be like, oh, this bitch weird. So I don't say nothing. I just shake my ass. Mm -hmm. I used to make good money, though. Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah. What was the most you ever brought home? In the night? I don't know, like a thousand. Mm -hmm. So... One minute, you like, fuck wigs. I'm not wearing wigs. I don't like these prints. I'm done with makeup. I'm not dressing like that. Then the next day, you got on makeup. You got shorts up your ass. <laughs> it's so many things. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's so many different personalities, different avenues with me. I just be like, spin the wheel, bitch. Who do I want to be today? Mm -hmm. But what, like, why at one point it was like, okay, I'm done with wigs. I'm done with makeup. I'm I just feel like that now. I'm tired of this shit. I don't know how these bitches keep up with this shit. No, like, it's a lot. Bad bitches, I applaud you. Like, I can't do it. I'm trying I'm trying so hard to keep up. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I just want to be bald, okay? <laughs> I just want to be bald. I don't want no makeup on. I don't want no nails. I don't want nothing. But I have to go to work. Mm -hmm. so. so that's why you be doing it. Yeah, It just work. be a mood. It just be like, bitch, fuck you sometimes. I just want to be... Ball, and then sometimes you just want to be a bad bitch. When I pop out ball with no makeup, I just be tired. I just be like, especially with kids mm -hmm. too. I don't like the bitches with kids who like always look together. Ari, I applaud you. Jada, I applaud you. India, I applaud you. I don't know how y'all do it. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's time consuming. You, I don't know how y'all do it. Like, girl, I don't know how I do it. They wake up at six. Your kids wake up at six. My kids wake up at like seven thirty. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is up with these kids. They always waking up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. How am I supposed to get you up, get you together, and then get myself together, too? And then by the time I get myself together, you didn't throw up on me. Mm -hmm. How? How do we do this? Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about plastic surgery real quick. Yes. Did you get dimples? I got dimples. I got everything under the sun. Mm -hmm. And there's more to get. And then Randy said that you was making payments on your ass. <laughs> he said I was making payments on my ass. Yeah, we all was we all was like going back and forth. He was like something about like finish paying off your payments on your ass. He's or such a weirdo. He bought my ass. <laughs> like London, why would you say that? My was ass like, is paid off by you. So oh, I think he said. Well, I don't know if he said you was doing like hair credit or you need a hair credit. He said something. He said something like finish paying off your ass. He, that was like some of your ass paid off. <laughs> My ass is paid off, paid in full by London Homes. Thanks, baby. <laughs> um, you need to pay off that goddamn car you got me. But hey, the Tesla that he yes. put back. <laughs> Summer. What? You gave him back the car? I certainly did. I know, I know, bro, bitch. I, you can have it, honey. Mm -mm. I think we got a... <laughs> you didn't give me a car. You're it's not, not going back. back. You're not. Especially if I push out a kid. Like, I'm not giving you back your car. I'm not. No. I don't give a fuck what you say. <laughs> She said the me car a, is mine. A broke hoe. Well, when you got back the car, it was like Stanley Grace. I was finna give him back the jewelry too. People was like, keep the jewelry, bitch. Like, I'm like that. I give you uh, my pride. Mm -hmm. If if nigga, if you bought me a house, I no, pack my shit the fuck no, up. You're not. You can't have it all back. Because <laughs> what you're not about to be doing the whole next shit over my head. And guess what? Bitch, I'm riding around in your car. <laughs> Why you mad as fuck? <laughs> Oh, like you mad every time I up like a selfie in this. She <laughs> said, I'm like, giving it back. Yeah, you, you better send the cops over here to get this picture. I'm not. <laughs> <you."> 
Send the car. I applaud you for giving back the carcass, baby. Mm-mm. I'm not giving no nigga back no And car. you want to know what's day ass crazy? I was so serious. I told his baby mom to come get it. I know. She could have she, she could have had it. Was y'all ever about to fight? Was we? I think we was once. But um, I don't know. I just wanted to be cool with all of them. I don't know. Like one time, it I was like that. It should be like that though. Like, did you? We both got a baby for me because I be both you know he on shit. Like what the fuck we be shit for? Yeah, for what? Yeah. Like I'm so weird. Like I don't think I could ever be in a polygamous relationship because I like my dick is my dick. But really, yes. But I give like that big loving homie. Like, I'm so serious. I could have dead ass set up in that house with all his baby mamas and all the kids, and we could have played. So, you can't have a threesome? Oh, no, no. I can't do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, are you into girls? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But just not with your man. No, I can't. Um, when I'm with a dude, like, that is my dick, and I'm ready to go to war for it. What's the craziest thing you ever did for dick? Like, what's the craziest... The craziest thing I ever did for dick? Like, what does that mean? Like, no, you did some shit, and it was just kind of like, you would go to jail for a nigga, you would fucking bust out the windows of a house, like... One time, Lenny was not answering the phone, and he came home, and all eight of his tires to both of his Lamborghini and his other Corvette, whatever that fucking shit was, Ferrari, all of the tires mm-hmm. busted. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think I broke some in the house. And I broke his gate to his car. I mean, to, to the house. But mm-hmm. What's like a favorite date night or what's like your idea date night with a guy? Honestly, I think that we just, you know, like, we just trying to figure out who some of yours. Like, what do a nigga got to do to, like, win you over? I love the strip club. Oh, really? Throw every little dollar on them posts. I love it. I want to go to the strip club. I want you to have I want you to have 20 bitches on me. You mm-hmm. stand in the corner. Don't touch them. Me too. That's my type of day. I love a, a strip club day night. It's just I love fun. it. Yeah. you're going to get you some food, mm-hmm. some your music. Mm-hmm. You're going to get drunk. Mm-hmm. Go home. Hooker. Go home. Probably make a pay. Oh, fuck. Oh. Not mm, all of that. <laughs> Have a great time. Yes. I love it. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite date night. I want to be when I when I get up to leave. Mm-hmm. I want to like be like kicking the money. Yeah, like it's just it's just everywhere. I can't see my ankle. So do you still want to, like what's your like now that you just in your soccer area? You just outside. You having fun. You got you a little big meat. <laughs> not a little big meat. No, 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 no. no. Big, I mean big big meat. I'm sorry. Big big meat. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, like, what's your outlook on, you know, relationships? Like, do you still want to get married? Or it's just like, right now, you just, you just like... I want to get married. I think something that irritates the living shit out of me is when people be like, oh, she can't keep a man. Or like, oh, she had these kids and she's not married. Mm-hmm. Like, they say it like I couldn't have been married. Niggas had the rings. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't want to be stuck in something I'm not happy in. So I still want to get married, but it has to be right. I'm not going to just get married to just say I got a ring. Right. And be sitting up in the house fucking. Most of the bitches now. Pulling, yeah, pulling my hair out and shit. We just shit. Now he popping the, popping the question. And you like, yes. Mm-mm. Niggas will put out the biggest tricks once they don't fuck up and the bitches still a fall for it. Yeah. No. Mm-mm. I want to be happy in my marriage. Yeah. So. You know, if it comes, cool. If it doesn't, I'm not tripping because I'm still happy. Mm-hmm. And you're young. Very yeah, young. I'm yeah. young as fuck, too. In your 20s, you got whole, so much time, so many niggas. Let's just be getting married in their 50s and their 60s, okay? Exactly. So we're going to play a little game with this to that. Doggy style or missionary? Oh, my God. Um... Missionary is like when they on you, mm-hmm. on top of you, uh, looking in their eyes. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not up looking in their eyes. Missionary. They just on top of you. You see everything. You like you look you down. It's just kind of like it's very instant. It's very like missionary. It's way more passionate. I just don't like. I feel like you can see up my nose, but besides that, <laughs> missionary. <laughs> Would you prefer a hairy dick or a what bald is happening? Dick. 
Cause you know, I feel like a shave dick. It's like right there. You could like, it's like nigga, you got all dick. If you, if you bold enough to put out a ball dick in front of me, bitch, it better be something. Like you better have some thickness and some lint. Cause I dare you to put out a little shrimp. She said, I, if you have the balls to pull out a ball dick, it's crazy. <laughs> wow, I feel like a man, like a man, is gonna have some hair. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know. Like I like a I like a little slippery ball dick. <laughs> I don't want that fucking hair in my face. You sitting there talking about the, like, oh my god, that's the one that's like, no, yeah, just 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 take it off. <laughs> take it off, trim it down. Um, fit a swallow. Wow, this is crazy, mom. Don't let. Um, <laughs> if I love you. Oh, do you ever sing to the dick? I'm swallow. <laughs> <laughs> I must you swallow just to my God. Nah. Um, do I sing to the dick? Yeah, I love to play. I mean, just like get a pretty dick. You just like, oh, it's so pretty. It's like, yeah, I've never, I've, I haven't fucked with no ugly dicks. I haven't seen one. Thank God, because you know them things look weird. But mm -hmm. I, I, be like a little discoloration. It's yeah. just kind of be pullbacks, skin. <laughs> no, um, pretty dicks, pretty dicks, pretty dicks. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen one. No, if the question was fit or swallowed. I'm going to swallow it if I love you. Oh, for real? Yes. That's why I was like, if I love you. <laughs> um, for a foreplay. Foreplay. Mm. Yeah. I love a good foreplay. Do all of it. Do everything. Ooh. Pull out the tricks. Oh. Yeah. I love that. Okay. I, I love that. Okay, so. What <laughs> foreplay? So you're not into porn, or you are? You just prefer like if 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 he's gone and I'm lonely, then sure. But like, I really rather just save it for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna do one more, and then we gonna play with you. Let get real dangerous. Oh God, because this is already wild as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Rappers or athletes? Neither. Ooh. Yes. You want to date a rapper? Fuck no. Why? Oh my God. They're so trifling. I tried one time, one time. I said I would never fuck with a rapper. I tried it one time. I said, see, this what is why. Do? Girl, I'm not going to get into it. They trifling as fuck. That's why I said I would never do it. I don't care. I do not like rich niggas. Mm. No disrespect to my last baby daddy. Mm -hmm. That's why I fucked with him. I don't like rich niggas because they don't know how to act. Yeah. It's hard to train them. Yeah. Because they, 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 Got a big ego. It's yeah. Girl, like, bitch, yeah. Yeah. I can see that. I like a nick, like a nigga with a nine to five. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you ever seen that shit with Kia when she was like, if you see a nigga working on the side of the road, stop by and drop him off a basket of chicken. Like that's the type of nigga I like. A good, hard working. But I feel like sometimes when a nigga be at work all day, he be aggravated when he get off. Cause it's like you been working hard all day. Now you be aggravated, bitch. Don't be aggravated with me. <laughs> No, that's why when you come in, I gotta like rub your feet and do all that stuff. Like I'm, I'm gonna get you right. It's fine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna um spread the cards, and you gotta pick one. If you did, you take the shot. If not, are you safe? Oh, shots! Oh my God, you're trying to get me drunk. It's the end of the night. Not pick a card. Pick a card. <laughs> not you moving the day. <laughs> not you. Well, you see it. You looking at it. <laughs> what the? All right. What do I do? Just read it. <clears throat> Take a shot if you fuck somebody's man to make them mad. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, no shot. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that's foul. <laughs> Bitch, you made me mad. I'm going to show you. Not, I'm going to show you. No, because he'll never come back. <laughs> um, Take a shot if you cheated and got an STD. No. Okay. This is what's on these cards, bitch. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You came up with this shit? Mm -hmm. yeah, wow. <laughs> Take a shot if you ever mess with your mama nigga behind her. Let me read this. Take a shot. This is what's on Risha. It's Risha Roulette. Mm -hmm. This is what's on Risha I got, Roulette. I got to get you to take a shot, though. Because So we going to... That's three. I want to... 
Three. Take a shot if you ever mess with your mama's nigga behind her back. Hell you know, no. people be fucking daddy and sons. Then they be with the mama. Then they be with the daughter. It's that's no, the, I don't think I'm gonna be taking no time. shot. I ain't foul like that. Your I mama, you a nigga? good girl. Ooh. Take a shot if you ever suck dick with a condom. Mm -mm. Give it to me, bro. Give it to, 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 to. I'm going to go through your whole deck. Take a shot if you had to buy two Plan B's in one week. No. <laughs> oh, Summer, you are boring. I'm boring. No, I'm playing. No, I am. I really am. Take a shot if you ever climb to a balcony to break into a nigga's apartment. No. No. I'm probably going to go through this whole thing. Okay. I don't be, like, doing a lot. So we're going to just do two more, and then we just go... Wrap it up. Not break, not break into a nigga's apartment. These bitches are wild. You be doing this shit? Man, I don't got on a nigga hood. Yeah, <laughs> bitch. Girl, where you going? <laughs> Who you with? <laughs> nah, where you going? I'm go, I'm go, I got to get to the bottom of it. You didn't, now, I'm sorry. This makes me want to ask you some questions. I'm going to read this in a minute. Okay. But you been in the nigga, back in the nigga Trump? I never got, I was on a nigga hood. He thought, you know how you already, wait, you was just waiting on the hood? Just waiting. He didn't know you was up no, there. No, no, no. You know how like you arguing and they trying to get in the car. They think they go put off. Oh, I'm on your hood. Where are we going? He dropped. No, where are we going? He drove up. No, he just got to stop. Like, man, you tripping? Come on, like you acting stupid. Yeah, I am. Let me in the car. Like, oh, we gonna finish this conversation right now in the parking lot. You ever try to fight somebody, mama? I'm not like, I ain't never tried to fight, but I go there. You I somebody's go. mother? Yeah. You tried to um get their sister or their mama jump? Mm -mm. I'm just like, I'm gonna cut your mama out. Oh. I'm gonna cut your mother out. Wow. You're weird. Like, I wanna go there. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. I can't Because mothers be so like attached to their sons. Yeah, I'm sitting here looking at you crazy. Now that I think I didn't have some words. With it them. just be like, they be too, it be too personal. It's like, bitch, I'm the one that's fucking him, nurturing him now. Like, they do be acting like they wanna. You don't come do it because if not, shut up. They be acting like they be. And don't speak on my relationship. Don't, don't even tell him nothing about me. I got this over here. Take a shot if you ever burned a nigga's car. No. I got close to shooting a nigga's car up. Shooting? Yeah. But I didn't do it. So <laughs> I don't burn a nigga's um, clothes. I never burnt nobody's car. But I done burnt some clothes before. Like, dead ass got the clothes in the pal and burnt it up. Okay. Wait until we exhale. Yeah. You crazy. Now you ain't got no clothes. Not, not me. I like you. I like you. Yeah. A lot. Oh, we need to hang out more. Where are we going? Africa. <laughs> I'm for real. And that is a wrap of Carisha Please with Summer. Make sure you check out her EP out right motherfucking now.